Okay, one, I think the prison system uh, should be turned from criminal institutions into teaching institutions. Uh, I think we need to begin to uh, implement uh, programs to be more proactive in reaching these men prior to, to release. Uh, I went to the uh, uh, Montgomery, uh, uh, excuse me, the uh, uh, Montgomery program uh, at uh, the Air Force Base, kind of good. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Maxwell Air Force Base. And I, I went there and, I, and it was something amazing that I, I, they had going there. They actually had an ATM machine, a mock ATM machine set up. Uh, I don't know who designed it. And uh, they're, they're in there teaching men, individuals, how to create a budget. They actually give them a paycheck and they put it in the ATM machine and they give them funny money back. Uh, they're learning all new skills. It's it said that uh, there's an average, uh, on average, an inmate can make up to maybe 20 to 30 decisions a day. On the outside, in the free world, we make 150 to 250 decisions every day. These men haven't been able to make a decision on their own. They've been institutionalized. So what I see is programs coming in and taking a proactive approach teaching men marketable skills, requiring that they get a GED or equivalent, uh, that they have a marketable trade. And I think the only way that can happen is bringing employers in and training these men in a trade and women in a trade. Uh, I see uh, even when it comes to mental health, uh, teaching men uh, coming in before they, these men get out and women on uh, how to apply for Medicaid. Uh, men and women who come out, they're almost like uh, people coming from another country. They don't have their uh, driver's license. It has gotten lost. Uh, birth certificates. Uh, they're non-documented immigrants. And I think what we need to do is go into the prison systems, teach these men how to get a driver's license, how to apply for, uh, uh, for Medicaid, even Social Security. Have these things in place. I, th I think that's one of the focal points because these men are coming out with mental health issues, women coming out with mental health issues, don't have housing prepared for them, don't have shelter prepared for them. These things are necessary. One guy said he went in in the winter time, and when he left out, he went in the summer with his winter clothes. So I think we need to go in and begin to revamp the system, go in, revamp these, uh, and I'm not saying all prison systems are like that, but some are so archaic. These men are not being rehabilitated, not prepared. Uh, for the new society and the things that are out there. So uh, my suggestion is to go back in and say, look, a new prison, what, is, what does it look like? Men being educated. Go in and educate these men and women on what it's like to, because they don't have a real world view after serving 10 to 20 years. Uh, you know, I work in child support court. Uh, there was an individual, uh, one of the local programs at the foundry who had just been out maybe a few weeks. And I asked, how many have child support cases? One guy raised his hand and uh, he says, I have uh, seven children by six different women. He says, uh, I owe $100,000 in child support. Never paid a dime when he went in, never paid a dime when he's going out. And he's looking at a high, with a, this huge arrearage. Most men who come out with this significant child support arrearage have been incarcerated. Uh, the DHR has not been informed and they'll have a hold on him. He served time in prison for maybe 10 years, and now he has a hold on him, and he's gonna be reincarcerated and held for five or six months until family members come up with some money to get him out. Here again, I think that we need to look at that system a little bit further, teach these men about child support and how they can get it reduced at some point, maybe a small percentage of it when he does get out. Uh, make it, prisons need to be more, or society needs to be more user-friendly when it comes to uh, uh, offenders who are going into prison, uh, and then coming out of prison. Um, 